Hey, what's up guys? Totally Dubbed here and today I'm going to be flashing over Simply Honey. Uh, as you can see, the phone is just finished via Odin. Um, and so I'm just going to show you what to do after you've finished uh, with Odin. And then go through the settings with Odin. So uh, when it first boots up after finishing via Odin, um, you want to just go factory data, or well, wipe data factory reset. Delete all user data and reboot system now. So as that reboots, I'm going to show you um, up on the computer what you have to do in Odin. So first of all, you're going to download the light version um, of the ROM. Uh, you'll see in a while that I'm going to add the uh, medium package as well. But um, in, the, um, in the light version, you're going to get a uh, sort of a zip file and you're going to extract that zip file and you get a folder. In that folder you'll get these four files, readme, it's phone booting up, uh, you'll get um, four files, readme, odin, um, 512pit and uh, a dot, well, dot md 5 file. Um, so what you want to do is open odin, go to pit, add the pit, add the pda, and as you can see, repartition will be automatically ticked. If it isn't, then tick it and just hit start. This can be done over any ROM uh, and any um, firmware. And over here, as you can see, I downloaded separately, but I just put it in a folder. It's the mid package. Um, so what, we're gonna, what I did is before I flashed, I wiped my SD card, my internal SD card. I added this into my internal SD card and uh, then I flashed via Odin. So your internal SD card doesn't get touched um, and you'll see in a while that this file is still in there. So right, so the phone is just booting up now. Just give it just a little while. Just quickly boot up and zoom out a little bit. <laughs> when I first saw the boot animation, I thought it was really cute to be quite honest. I bet my girlfriend would love, love that but but yeah, it's like a little space Android spaceman um, waving his head to left and right. So <laughs> it should open up any time now. Let's see. You can see it's trying to load. Right, so there we go. So we can unplug the phone, and we can also close Odin. Right, so I'm just going to go really quickly through setup, if it allows me to, whatever. And there you go, the, the ROM will be booted up, let's just see if it just has to run through setup, well, run through setup, open up the default things, as you can see, it looks very nice. And it's multi-CSC as well. I'll uh, I'll show you that in a second uh, via via the Darky um, ROM tool app. So if I turn it off, turn it back on. As you can see, there's a glass unlock right there. And there's my multi CSC working right there. It's on XEU right now. You see, my network provider is Virgin. And um, so as you can see, you don't have any choice of any lock screens. Uh, but this is the light version, so I'm not surprised. I'm just double checking just in case there is a there's another thing. There's theme settings right here. Where's the oh there's the glass. So let's try let's try rotary unlock. Um excellent power menu. Yep, that's fine. Let's try that out. See if it applied it. Yep, there you go. There's the that's how to change your lock screen when you're on the light versions so of theme settings. Extend power menu can be also adjusted by the looks of it, so um There you go, they just added right there. So right, what I'm going to do now is go into um, recovery and I'm going to apply that uh, the medium package uh, via clockwork recovery. Very very easy to do, I'm going to show you how to do that. And also um, we're going to enable lag fix and make sure it's been enabled um, and I'll just show you how to do that as well. It does take a while, lag fix does take a while but um, I'll show you how to do that. 
So the medium package uh, you'll see in the, in the description below what it adds. It adds some extra apps and things like that, some theme settings and whatnot. So I'll show you how show you what it, um, you can read in the description of what it adds. So as you can see over here, pre-empty. It's only so far in there. There's the mid package. Doesn't take long to flash. Very fast. It's only I think 40 meg, 40 meg file. Uh, no, not even that. 22.5 meg. 22.5 meg file. So as you can imagine, it shouldn't take too long. Been playing too much FIFA, so I feel like saying curse of the commentator right there, but never mind. Um, and right, and then after that, so as you can see, I went into speed mod features. As you can see, it's got speed mod in it, and uh, we're gonna go to convert file system to ext4 and convert file system, um, convert system file system. Um, that's what you should do. Um, so ext4. And that um, I'm not going to do that but simply because it's going to take a while, and I know it's going to take a while because it does take a while, and it always takes a while. So it's going to take a while, and because I want to make it one video, I don't want to put make it two video, well, two videos and edit it in. Um, I'm just going to leave it on RFS. I think it, I think it's on RFS default. So make sure you do that. Um, it'll take about say two minutes, three minutes to do, um, and yeah. So you won't go ext4 simply because it's faster. It's a fast file system. Um, it runs much faster. And it's lag fix sort of thing. Yeah, that's what they call it, lag fix, and um, it's just because it's got a faster file system. So yeah. If anyone's hungry, you can um, eat with me. It's basically it's it's not actual food. It's like a, some like a, you have on the side. Um, it's like an Iranian sort of dish, something like that. I'm not Iranian, but it's an Iranian dish. It's uh, basically. Um, Yogurt, cucumbers, olive oil, lemon, salt, pepper, all put into one, and um, yeah. it's quite nice. Well, at least I like it. I go through this really quick, so um, maybe this little guy will eat it. Yeah, as you can see, procrastination at its best right there, especially when you're flashing rums. <laughs> so let's, let's wait for little Bubble Spaceman to um, load up. Bubbling his head to left to right, doing a Peter Crouch move, like a dancing move. <laughs> but yeah, it, I mean the, the the ROM, it looks very nice, very neat, um, all themed up as well, uh, which is quite nice. So um, it's like a complete sort of ROM with theme and everything in there. Uh, so it looks promising. As you can see, theme theme straight away has changed. It's gone to the SGS2 lock screen right there. So you can see that now I'm going to have lock screen options in my settings. Lock screen menu, lock screen settings, lock screen style, and I can choose one of the ones. So let's go rotary again. There you go. So seeing as I like the SGS2, I'll keep it SGS2. Actually, glass one was pretty sick because they've themed that as well. That looks very nice. Oh, I'm going to keep that. That looks very nice indeed. So there you go. Um, quickly go into settings, about phone. As you can see, it's got uh, speed mod um, HT24, 300 hertz, and simply honey 4.0 special edition um, JVP. Simply honey 4.0 SE Rev2 by SGT. Uh, let me just go to my dialer. And as you can see, my PDA is on JVP, my phone's on JVQ, and my CSC is on JVQ as well. So there you go. A list of CSCs is listed also in the XDA app, uh, XDA app, XDA thread. So uh, please check that out. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys, and uh, please do rate, comment, subscribe, and um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this ROM. I'm gonna play around with it a little bit, and yeah. <laughs> See you guys. Bye-bye.